In this demo, you'll see how to create a password settings object for the IT admins group. We're going to start off in Active Directory Users and Computers. We're going to take a look at some of the uh, components within uh, our domain. The computers container contains some computers. The development uh, OU contains users and a group. The IT OU contains users and a group. Managers, users and a group. Marketing, users and a group. Research, pretty much the same thing. Sales, there's a couple of groups in there. And the users uh, containers mostly uh, mostly groups. Just get an idea of the structure of these things. Now let's go within IT, the ITOU. We're going to create a new group in there. And we're going to call this group IT Admins. We'll leave the defaults. It's a global group of type security. Done with that. Now let's go into our Group Policy Management Console. And we'll expand our forest, expand the domain, expand a datum. We're going to go ahead and uh, open up the default domain policy for editing. The only stuff that's uh, generally in there is you know, passwords and account uh, lockout stuff, which we're going to take a look at right now. So we'll go to the Computer Configuration Policy section, select uh, Windows Settings, select Security Settings, and from there we'll go to Account Policies. You should be familiar to you by now. The password policy elements, there's uh, six of them that have been described at length uh, previously. The account, the account lockout policy elements, there's three of those. And then the Kerberos, uh, Kerberos policy elements. Again, this pretty much makes up the uh, what the default domain policy uh, has. So now let's go into Admin Center. And we'll select a datum. Take a look at the objects at the root there. And we'll scroll down to the system container. Open that up. And we'll scroll down to the password settings container. Open that up and you'll see that there are currently no password settings objects. So let's create one. And the dialog comes up. We're going to give this a name of IT administrators PSO for password settings object. And we'll assign it a precedence of one. It's important if you have multiple PSOs to assign them a, assign them precedence values so that the most important one is the one that actually gets applied. Let's uh, put a minimum password length in there. Let's put a uh, maximum password age in there. Let's go with 30 days. And let's enable the enforce account lockout policy section, which requires us to uh, specify the number of failed login attempts allowed. We're going to put five. We'll accept the defaults for the rest of this. Select Add. This directly applies to, and we're going to add our IT admins group. Important safety tip. In order for this IT admins group to actually, this for this password settings object to apply, there needs to be at least one user in that group. And that concludes this demonstration. See you next time.